Hi guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be using Sin to prime my eyelids just because I really like the undertone that this gives the eyeshadow look. It just gives it this kind of luminous look which I really, really liked. So I'm just blending this all over my eyelids with my finger. And then I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's Latte Eyeshadow which is just a matte, um, I don't know, kind of like dark tan or latte color. Hmm. Maybe why it's called latte. Um, but I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush and I'm just going to be putting this into the crease. Um, because for this liner look, I wanted to still have some definition um, on my eye. I didn't want it to just be bare. So I am putting this eyeshadow into my crease just to um, add the definition there, like with a fluffy brush. So it's just nice and blended and blown out, but it's not that harsh at all. Okay, yeah. Next, I am going in with Midnight Cowboy from Urban Decay. This was in a set that is like years, years, years old, but it's just Midnight Cowboy eyeshadow, so any kind of cool tone, um, pinky shadow will work. You could honestly just use your face powder. I just use this color because I really like this eyeshadow and I feel like I don't use it enough, so I'm putting this all over my lid. And then I'm going to take my fluffy brush that I used with Latte to blend out the edges of that eyeshadow. Next, I'm taking this pigment from BH Cosmetics. It's called Dance Diva. And this color literally gives me life. Like, how pretty is it? It's a duochrome. If I would have used it over a dark base or over a green base or something like that, you probably would tell a little bit more um, on camera. But in real life, it's a brown with a green sparkle. And I just put that all under my lower lash line. Next, I'm taking this green liner from NARS and I'm just putting this on my lash line and my waterline because I wanted this to be pretty matte. I didn't want it to have the glitter on top from the eyeshadow that I put under there. That's why I did that kind of backwards. And now I'm going in with Laura Mercier's um, Cake Eyeliner in Forest Green. And I'm going to use my Dewy Finish um, NYX Setting Spray to moisten the cake liner. And then I'm going to just use my Real Techniques Eyeliner Brush. And I'm going to make a very thick wing. And uh, I'm really going to be focusing on making sure that the color is opaque, even though that's not an issue whatsoever with this eyeliner. It's so pigmented. I really like this and I probably will get it in the black shade as well because it was so easy to work with. Um, but I'm just going to be making the wing and um, trying to get it as smooth of a line as possible. And just like that with the miracle of editing, the other eye is done. And then I decided that I wanted more green, uh, more of this green liner on my eye, so I'm taking it on my lower lash line and I'm connecting it to the top liner. Then I'm going in with this black liner from Rimmel and I'm going to line my tight line so that there are no like skin gaps showing under my beautiful green liner and it just makes the look more polished to me. And so then um, I'm gonna highlight my inner corner with Shimmer Shimmer, which is just a really nice, more cool tone, champagne-y kind of color to highlight, kind of goes with the Midnight Cowboy on my lids. And then I'm taking some mascara, which made my lashes look so amazing. It could be the green background, but my lashes look great. Um, just saying. And then I'm using this blush from Estee Lauder. I will leave the name of it down below, but it was just warm enough to kind of give me some color on my cheeks. And then I'm taking this um, bronzer, but I use it as a highlighter from um, Physician Formula. And I'm going to highlight and maybe go a little bit far, too far, um, on the highlighting. So I'm going to take my foundation brush and kind of blend that in. You see me doing that right now. And then I'm going to move on to lips, the most exciting part um, of this look for me anyway. Then I'm, so I'm taking Napoleon Paradis um, Hot Pink Liner or Hot Pink Liner. 
And if you are not doing three looks like me and you're just doing the one look, I recommend liner anyway because you don't want, you know, any of your lipstick to bleed, whether it's bright or not bright. But I'm using Urban Decay's um, Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Color in Crush. And it is extremely glossy and extremely bright. And I loved this color. This is definitely the more fun option of the three lip colors. But it may be a little summery. So we're going to move on to a more fall color. I am using the Sweat n Wild Dark Brown Eye and Brow Pencil because I cannot find my dark brown um, lip liner so we're just gonna roll with it I did sharpen it before I put it on my lips and I sharpened it after I used it just now so that it's you know nice and clean and I don't put lip stuff in my eye and, you know yada yada anyway and then I'm using this deepest cherry lipstick from Maybelline and I applied it and I didn't like the contrast how like red it was pulling so I was like mm, I need more brown so I'm just taking the eyeliner and I'm kind of just like drawing um, all over my lips to deepen the color up and then that will be the second look which is more fall which I thought was super pretty as well it's actually the my favorite one actually I like them all I can't I can't decide I can't decide then I'm using new truffle lip pencil for the third lip option which is just a nude so I'm gonna line my lips with this pencil first and it's kind of like just a shade or two darker than my lip color, shade or two browner than my lip color anyway. And then I'm using this lipstick from Wet n Wild and it is 902C Bear It All. And I really like this, um, this. It's a little bit pinky but it's still very light like a nude. And so I decided that it was too matte for me so I'm adding this NK um, Lip Shine in Cheers. Check out from my beauty supply store, but you can use a clear gloss or any light pink gloss that you have. And I'm just putting this all over my lips. And that is the final lip look. Let me know which one was your favorite down below. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.